So in my last video, I showed you how to cut and key a small 3D modeled part for 3D printing. And that was all well and good. It showed you the technique and um, it got the idea across. But then I thought, well, <clears throat> maybe it's a little different if you have to do a more, much more complex piece. And most pieces are, right? Like, so I went online and I found this gal. And honestly, I don't really know much about her. She's... Uh, not the greatest. She's a little low poly. Look at all these jagged edges here. Uh, maybe she's just a screen grab from something, or, or rather, a, you know, a grab from a video game or something. I don't know. Um, I don't really know much about her. Um, and I even cut her all up. You can see she's in a bunch of pieces. <clears throat> but she's got issues. Um, if I hide this and we go in here, she's got interior faces inside the model and that's always a bad scene man slicers don't like it they get freaked out and things go sideways uh, i tried to clean it up and it's just too much of a pain in the butt quite frankly for you know a model i just wanted to use for demonstration purposes um it's just too much and and it's sad because um She's kind of a good example in a lot of ways. Like, believe it or not, the hardest thing to print on this model would be this little curl. It would actually probably have to be cut off and printed separately just because it goes up and then it comes down a little bit. And this little part here would be floating in midair. Um, you can't print a part in midair, so it would either need supports, which maybe for that one little part wouldn't be so bad, or this would have curl would have to be cut off, printed separately, and glued on. Because otherwise, this whole head prints fine cut in half like this that would print fine but look interior faces bum, bum, bum. Um, more interior faces uh, but this head once separated from the body if you rotate it 180 that would print beautifully with the exception of the interior faces I don't really know what's going on here but all of this stuff would probably print fine because the angles are just close enough that it could all print fine and and she actually poses an interesting challenge um i'm only going to give you a little peek because it's kind of weird um they actually went <coughs> and created this character the skirt is not solid so the legs go up underneath the skirt and uh you know there's it's like they tried to do a, a realistic figure um so you know you would have to have um supports up under the skirt and that would be a pain in the butt to clean out and who would want that but all you have to do is flip it upside down and now all of this in here would print fine without supports it would just go straight up and print it without a problem you know the tail you just print on this flat edge the legs you could just print like that um it would be fine if it wasn't for the fact that the model is really a mess so I thought to myself, what do we do? Well, I could just go ahead and model up something myself, right? A quick little figure that I could put together and show y'all how to cut and key a more complex model for 3D printing, right? Would be no problem. And as you can tell, by the time it's taking to load, I got a little carried away. <laughs> um, so this is what I ended up coming up with. And she's like super complex. Um, I love, I really like, the, I really dig these boots. <clears throat> I, I really like the way she came out. But there's a lot of work here to get her ready to print, right? And I think I can do her entire, this entire piece without one single support. Uh, hopefully I don't have to go back on that. Um, I may make a little alterations here and there. But, um... I think we can print her without supports. However, if you look at it, because of the way I, she's a combination of sculpting and modeling, these are all separate pieces. The cups of her bra, the top, all of these little pieces of the gun arm are all separate pieces. Even these, these little weird things I put into her legs, all separate pieces, all have to be joined together into one airtight model before I can actually cut and key her to print. 
and I can't do that in 15 minutes. No way, man. I don't think I can do it in like two hours. So I'm thinking of doing a, a series of videos on how I join all the pieces together so you get a better idea of the Boolean modifier and then how I cut and key it all up so that it all fits together and it's all easily printable without supports. And I think I can do it without supports. I mean, there's a lot of craziness going on here, but I think I can do it all without a support. Um, so if you want to find out how, uh, like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll be notified when each new video comes out and you can see how to uh, cut up a complex model for 3D printing.